So Carlos, the thing that, that instantly is so funny that jumps out right away. We all know you can play. I mean, everyone knows that, but this is what jumps out. Explain this. What is this? We have a glove for each hand. Explain it. I don't know. I just, I, my dad taught me at a young age to uh, be able to throw with both hands and I don't know, it helped me at the next level. So I guess it has. Okay. So you warmed up out there throwing left-handed. Yes, so sir. explain the left-handed thrower. Where do we see the left-handed thrower? Mainly in the outfield and uh, on the mound. On the mound, not so much as the outfield, but yes, outfield and on the mound. And explain where we see the right-handed thrower. Second base and behind the plate, that's it. Second base and behind the plate. Yes, so, all these things, how do you keep this kind of stuff fresh? How do you stay strong both sides? How does this happen? It's a, it's a long, long process and it's a lot of, a lot of work. I gotta work out every day, either arm. I usually don't do both every day because I'll be dead, but um, <laughs> I, I gotta do either day, I choose one and I do it and then the next day I got another one. So it's, it's tough, but it's, I like it. So one of your coaches over there is the number three overall pick in Brendan Rogers. Yes, sir. Um, he could tell you what Jupiter is, I mean what this event is all about, but to you getting to know it, what is Jupiter? So uh, last year it was one of the greatest experiences I've ever experienced in my life. Um, it's, it's unbelievable, honestly. That's, that's the only word I can say. It's unbelievable. All these scouts, and it's just unbelievable, as I said. Okay, now taking it a step further, you earned the right to be an All-American. Not only were you an All-American, but uh, you were the MVP of the All-American game with the sure. Padres play at Petco Park. What was that for you? I mean, that experience, coming through, delivering, what did you learn about yourself? I mean, we all have questions about ourselves. No yes, matter sir. how confident you at least come across to be, what did you learn about yourself with that experience? That, uh... I can hit at a high level, and I don't know. I just learned how to just stay within myself in the high stage. So that's pretty much it. Okay, that's such a great cliche, stay within yourself. Yeah. Um, what does that mean, though? I mean, when I say that, does it not just get distracted, lose confidence? What does that mean? Because I, I, I can't let guys get away with using the stay within yourself. Um, it means to, to do what I know how to do best. But at the highest level? Yes. But... I can do it at that level, I just, sometimes I try to do too much, try to overdo it, which never ends up working, but just stay within myself and that's pretty much it. Years down the road, when the draft comes, what do you hope in a setting like this we will be saying about your career? Uh, best hitter to ever walk on the earth. And with regard to the draft? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you hope through all of this you've played your way into what, next June? first round, but we'll see. Draft's pretty crazy, so we'll never know. <laughs> All right, my friend. Thank you. Appreciate it. Go use both. All right. Left, right? Left? Yeah, I'm in the outfield today. Outfield. Yeah. Okay, keep an eye.